All right, Wilbon, did the Bucs make the right decision to fire Adrian Griffin? Tony, this is entirely result-based. Entirely, 100%. If the Bucs just sort of fail, they've got, what, the second-best record in the East behind the Boston Celtics today. If, if, if they fail and they get bounced out early in the playoffs in the first round or even the second round, they don't get to the conference finals, it's going to look like a failure no matter who they bring in. If the Bucs go on and they somehow get at least, at least, to the conference finals, they give a tough six or seven game series to Boston, who would be a favorite, or they beat them and they get back to the finals with Giannis Antetokounmpo, then it's not failed. Then it will have been the right decision because they will have done it early enough before the All-Star break to give the new coach, whoever he is, a chance to sort of right the ship, improve the defense, improve morale, get Giannis back on board and excited again. There's a chance to do all yeah. that, but it's entirely result-based. It's an interesting question. Is it the right decision? They are 30 and 13, and they're firing this guy at 30 and 13, which indicates to me it's not a question of a right decision or a wrong decision. It's the only decision they could make. And I will tell you that I believe it's to appease Giannis Antetokounmpo and maybe Damian Lillard as well, because this is the NBA where stars have much more power than in any other sport. And if yep. stars are unhappy, no Mike, they say, I'm not playing here anymore. Right. We've seen That's this. Right. Your That's great right. friend, Magic Johnson, said to the Lakers, get rid of Paul Weston. Get him out of here. Even though they had won a championship a couple of years before and they were 54 and 28 the year before and then 7 and 4. LeBron James said, get rid of David Blatt. They were 30 and 11 when he said that. And he said, get him out of here. So I'm not certain that you can even go right or wrong. I think it's the only move they had. Tony, they must Tony, have become I, aware that Giannis yeah. could not play yeah. for this guy. Didn't like it. Well, right? Tony, I don't know about could not, but I agree with you about 90% there. It became a necessary move. One, because the team, right. which had its championship identity, was tied to defense. The month of January, they were, they've been, it's not over yet, 27th in defense in a 30-team league. So that wasn't working. I would say this on Adrian Griffin's behalf, though. I'm sorry. He didn't trade Drew Holiday, the most important defensive player in the lineup, including Giannis. Adrian Griffin didn't do that. Management did that. Right. So management gave him a flawed roster. How are you going to base your identity on defense and you get rid of your best defensive player and, oh, wait, he winds up with your rival, the Celtics. So management failed him. Now, has he done a great job? I don't know that I want to make that argument, but Tony, you read about Giannis. Giannis has been very critical lately, publicly of the team, of the yep. defense, those yep. kinds of things. It undercut and the so coach. Once you every hear time that, he spoke out, Mike, yep. every yep. time he spoke out, it undercut it the coach. So Agreed. you could see this. Yeah, okay. Tony, you could see it coming. I didn't think Milwaukee had the stones to do it right now, but wow, they did.